at the Faculty of Economics and Business Administration at Sofia University um, is um, um, developed um, sound collaboration with plenty of businesses and institutions. Currently more than 150 bilateral agreements are signed. Within this collaboration, students have the opportunity to attend invited lectures by business professionals, also to work on real-world case studies, develop their master thesis on real-world projects, and last but not least, what comes as natural um, consequence of all these activities is this industry-funded PhD program. So in the beginning of the program, the researcher who leads the PhD student, the tutor of the PhD student, together with the team of the partnering company, define a research problem which is important for both sides. Then we jointly select the PhD student. On our side, we conduct the examination of the PhD student. On the side of the business, they conduct their selection process. And we uh, make a deal that uh, this PhD student will work both at the university as a researcher and part-time as a consultant in the respective business. This way, uh, we can ensure first that there is a close cooperation between academia and business on joint subjects, on joint topics. And second, that we can guarantee a better financing of the research work of this PhD student. As someone uh, who spent uh, around 15 years in academia, I always believe that uh, the, the collaboration between uh, the academia and business is very, very important. Because actually, uh, academia is a place where the latest development in technology are followed and actually produced. And in the day-to-day -day -day business, uh, it's hard to like, uh, perform similar activities in the corporate world. Uh, my name is uh, Gloria Christova. I'm assistant professor at the Faculty of Economics and Business Administration. And I graduated the first industry-funded PhD program here. So I'm also a PhD now. Um, for the last four years, I have been doing research in the field of data science. I decided to enroll the industry-funded PhD program because I wanted uh, to specialize in the field of my research interests and build a professional career in both uh, the industry and uh, the academy. I can say confidently that uh, the Faculty of Economics and Business Administration is uh, the uh, only place uh, in Bulgaria uh, that provided me this uh, great uh, combination, this great opportunity. While developing my dissertation, I was uh, able to work on real business cases and data. Um, so, uh, one day I'm doing research and uh, the other day I'm doing, uh, I, I'm uh, presenting my paper at a conference and the next day I'm in uh, business meetings. The main product of uh, our uh, university and our program is to educate uh, uh, students in such a way that they uh, could find uh, their job. Uh, and, uh, and not only uh, just jo jobs for working, but also for developing and for uh, having uh, the best uh, achievements in, in their work. Uh, and according even uh, basic requirements for, of education worldwide, uh, this is the main point. For PhD students, it's really inspiring to have this opportunity to make science on real-world problem, to work with real-world data, with business data, and at the end of the day, find out that science indeed solves complicated problems in innovative way. Um, we are creating actually innovations in this way. And at the end of the day, the business benefits um, the output of this project because what is developed as science is directly implementable uh, in particular business processes that might be optimized. For me, the whole program was one great journey. The program helped me to uh, learn a lot, 
uh, to overcome uh, some barriers and even fears that I have put in, in front of myself. As a result of my hard work in the last four years, recently one of my research papers was accepted at a top conference in Japan on the topic of big data analysis. Um, it's a great opportunity, the acceptance rate was uh, really low, but I actually made it. Uh, so I'm, I'm very happy about this. The syllabus here in this uh, faculty, it's uh, very much in line, uh, in, uh, in line what we do in, in the business. So I, I work for a financial company who, uh, who works with uh, a huge amount of financial data and uh, we would like to have some um, uh, smart techniques to understand and interpret the data. I have three colleagues uh, in my uh, team uh, who graduated uh, from this uh, faculty. Actually, they worked with uh, Professor Bogdanova. So that also for me, it's a kind of uh, proof that uh, this collaboration like somehow came very, in a very natural uh, way. I graduated uh, the faculty of um economics and business administration here, um, the master program of business analytics. And after that, um, I was uh, invited from my supervisor uh, to pursue a PhD pro uh, program uh, in data science. So I started uh, this uh, PhD program and at the same time I started working for KBC Group. And uh, that's uh, amazing to be part of this synergy between science and business. So when we work together, we can uh, show the students uh, what are our needs, what is the uh, business uh, pain point, and uh, working with the students together, uh, they can find uh, working solutions, learn how to, to work uh, with the real uh, business case studies, uh, develop their projects. In order to achieve good quality of education, uh, we very much need uh, and we very much use uh, these connections with business because uh, we can uh, see what are the needs of the businesses and uh, how could we teach and train our students uh, uh, in an uh, environment which is, uh, you know, practically the same like in their jobs. Yeah, my name is Kirill. Um... First, uh, I graduated my uh, bachelor degrees here, economics and finance, and I pretty much liked the whole environment. The professors were very open and uh, intuitive in some in some senses. And the knowledge that we acquire here is aimed at serving uh, the business, the private sector, which is something very important because, um, as we all know, the main issues of most of uh, graduates is that they don't apply their knowledge in um, their job afterwards. And from the student's point of view, I think it's uh, really, really nice when you are learning some technologies, uh, if you know uh, already where you can use these technologies in uh, like how can you be how can they be useful in the business uh, I'm applying uh, most of the skills that I've acquired um, I also acquired uh, different soft and uh, hard skills um, of course hard skills have to be shaped in the in the in the business environment but soft skills are definitely useful and uh, it's something that you have to start with I will not hide that becoming a PhD um, requires a lot of efforts, a lot of patience, a lot of <laughs> persistence and you will probably meet quite a few difficulties along this way, uh, but in the end um, these efforts are rewarded. Apart for the industry-funded PhD program, we work on um, knowledge transfer. Uh, we aim to transfer um, academic knowledge in the business through establishing um, academies that are aimed to um, train staff at the KBC group, uh, not only in Bulgaria but also worldwide, where um, the faculty delivers um, cutting-edge lectures um, 
on topics that are currently hot for the business. You might ask like, okay, there are a lot of trainings available on the internet. Uh, yes, but to get uh, such a, uh, like, uh, what, I mean, to get what you need exactly, you need to follow a couple of trainings and then get um, part of uh, each training. But now with uh, Professor Bogdanova, we had uh, also like a meeting with somewhat, uh, some colleague from Belgium. We really discussed the syllabus that we would like to have in this training, uh, our interest, and also we informed her like uh, the, the level of the knowledge in the team and where the training should uh, start from. We have announced a new scholarship with an opportunity for internship. So this all is intended to support the talent development of the students of our faculty of the faculty of economics and business administration so for now i would say it's the knowledge that we got uh, from the the colleagues at the university but um, next uh, semester uh, we would have two students uh, that will be uh, working uh, with us, uh, uh, having their internship for a couple of months. And there we have like really concrete projects. So there, uh, after this cooperation, uh, we would have like very concrete products that we can say, okay, these are uh, created uh, 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 with the support of the students from the, the faculty. When I finished uh, my master program here, when I started working for KBC, I realized that uh, the, the knowledge and the skills that I've got here are really practical and I'm ready to, to work. I have all the knowledge and experience that I need to be useful for, that, for the business and to, um, to uh, cope with uh, real business case studies and uh, do my job perfectly. Besides this uh, Academia Business Corporation, I would also think that uh, the cross-border co uh, cooperations are very important. So um, it doesn't have to be very long, but like it can be a couple of months or years. Working in a, uh, in a different uh, country gives you a little more independent way of thinking. So I also uh, recommend to the students uh, to explore these uh, possibilities. So I believe that the future of universities is to work in close cooperation with employers, with business leaders, to provide the best knowledge and skills that are currently being demanded in the real world, and by involving these businesses to support academia in all ways possible with their time, with their mentoring experience and with uh, infrastructure and resources.